Hi, this is Mr. Eaton with your nine video lesson on ratios, rates, and best buys. As always, remember to put some notes into the study notes section of your book. Put the video on pause and uh, do some of the questions as well. All right, well, ratios are used to compare quantities. Uh, so, for example, the ratio of A to B is written as A dot dot B. So we could write that also as 5 to 4. So the ratio of 5 to 4. We can also simplify ratios. So for example, the ratio 38 to 24, both are even numbers. So we can simply say that 38 divided by 2 gives us 19 to the ratio of 12. All right, what about simplifying these fractions? Well, the first thing you've got to do is turn that into an improper fraction and that one into an improper fraction. Find a common denominator and then you can simplify. So put the video on pause and give it a go. Right, well the first thing to do is turn them into improper fractions. So 2 2 is a 4 and 1 is 5 over 2 into the ratio of 3 1 to 3 and 1 is 4 over 3. Okay, so that is my new ratio, but I now need to find common denominators. So the common denominator of 2 and 3 is going to be 6. So 2 goes into 6 3 times, so 6, and 3 fives are 15. So the ratio of, how many times does 3 go into 6? Twice, so 2 times 4 is 8, over 6. So all we do now is discard the 6's and we're left with 15 and 8. So our new ratio is 15 to 8. We can also simplify decimals. Okay. If we have a look at our second decimal here, that is tenths and that is hundredths. So we can actually multiply both decimals by 100. So how do we do that? Well, 0 0.2 multiplied by 100 gives us 20, and 0 0.14 multiplied by 100 gives us 14. So our new simplified ratio is 20 to 14. And this, of course, can actually be simplified further because they are both even numbers. So 2 goes into 20 10 times, and 2 goes into 14 7 times. So the ratio simplified is actually 10 to 7. Alright, what often happens is that we're asked to divide a given amount into a ratio. So we need to divide the amount into that specific ratio. So how do we go about doing that? Well, first of all, we need to find out how many parts we have. We have 2 and 3. So we could say 2 add 3 equals 5. Okay, so we have 5 parts. Therefore, and that's the symbol for therefore, 3 little dots, therefore, 5 parts, okay, equals $300. Because that's what we've been told. Therefore, we can say that 1 part, so 1 fifth, of three hundred dollars okay equals one part and remembering our multiplication of fractions one fifth and of is the same as times three hundred dollars or three hundred over one equals and it ends up to be sixty dollars therefore one part equals sixty dollars so, if we are asked to find what two parts are, we would simply multiply 2 by 60. So, we would write that as 2 parts equals 2 times 60. And, of course, that equals $120. We are also often asked to simplify things like 120 kilometers every 3 hours into a simple rate or ratio. So in order to do that we need to have a look at 
120 kilometers every three hours and turn that into a fraction. So we would say that that is 120 over 3. And my rate is going to be kilometers per hour. So kilometer per hour. And we can then simplify this fraction by saying how many times does 3 go into 120? Well, 3 goes into 3 once, and 3 goes into 120 40 times. And 40 over 1 means 40 kilometers per hour. And that's the answer. Another way of using ratios and rates is to find the best buyers. For example, which is of better value? 5 kilograms of potatoes for $3.80 or 3 kilograms of potatoes for $2.20. How are we going to work that out? Well, there are two ways actually. So the first way we're going to do it is working out the price per kilogram. So we're going to work out our 5 kilogram bag of potatoes first. So what we want to do is we want to find out what 1 kilogram is going to cost us. So 1 kilogram of the 5 kilogram bag is going to be the same as $3.80 divided by the 5 kilograms. And that, when we work it out, comes out to $0.76. So this is for the 5 kilogram bag. Alright, so let's now work out our 3 kilogram bag. 1 kilogram of our 3 kilogram bag is going to be $2.20 over 3 kilograms. And when we work that out, our dollar value is going to be $0.73. Right, so now we need to answer the question, which is of better value? Well, our 5 kilogram bag costs us 76 cents per kilo. And our 3 kilogram bag costs us 73 cents per kilo. So which one is of better value? Well, clearly, it is going to be the 3 kilogram bag. Because it happens to be 3 cents cheaper. So the other way is to find the amount per dollar. So we're going to work out our 5 kilogram one first. So we would say that $1 worth of potatoes is equal to 5 kilograms over three dollars and eighty cents and when we calculate that out we find that it is one kilogram point three two per dollar that we purchase okay so let's work out what our three kilogram one is now so exactly the same principle is applied and when we work that out the amount per one dollar is three kilos divided by two dollars twenty gives us 1.36 kilograms per one dollar. So now to answer the question, which is of better value? Well, you get 1.32 kilograms for one dollar here, and you get 1.36 per one dollar here. Therefore, clearly, three kilogram bag is the better buy. All right, here's one for you to do. Find the cost of 100 mils of each shampoo product and then decide which is the best buy. 400 mils of shampoo A at $3.20 or 320 mils of shampoo B at $2.85. Try and work it out, put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. Alright, well this is the way I'd work it out. 100 mils of shampoo A, and I'd calculate that out, and I'll also work out 100 mils for shampoo B. So for shampoo A, I will have $3.20 divided by 400 mils, but I want to solve it to 100 mils, so I will multiply it by 100. And similarly down here, I would go shampoo B would be $2.85 over 320, and I want to solve it for 100 mils, so I multiply by 100. And when I do the calculations for shampoo A, I end up with 80 cents over here. And for shampoo B, I end up with 89 cents for shampoo B. And now to answer the question, which is the best buy? Well, shampoo A, it cost me 80 cents. And shampoo B cost me 89 cents. That is per 100 mils. Therefore, shampoo A 
is going to be the cheapest and best buy. And with that we've come to the end of ratios, rates and best buys.